Hello guys, welcome to Nerem Book Channel. The Canon 5D Mark III. Should you be buying this camera in 2021? Keep watching. The footage you are seeing right now is shot with the Canon 5D Mark III. Just to let you know the video quality of this camera. So, this camera was launched back in 2012 and at that time it cost around 1.8 lakhs. After 9 years you can get this camera for anywhere around 45 to 60,000 rupees. I got this uh, camera for uh, 55,000 last year. So let's see how this camera competes against all those cameras right now in the market for 55,000. So before that let's go through the main specifications of this camera. It has a 22 megapixel full frame sensor with the Digic 5 processor. It has 61 autofocus points of which 45 are of a cross type. Then it has a external microphone and headphone port. Then it has two storage slot. One is a CF Express card and other is the uh, SD card slot. Then it has a weather seal body and it has the capability to record full HD videos that is 1080p up to 30 frames per second. I'm going to divide this video into two parts, the photography and the videography side. So going on with the photography side, uh, the resolution that is a 22 megapixel is uh, sufficient for uh, everyday photography and for professional work, even though the standard for all the cameras right now is 24 megapixel. Okay, let me show you some of the images I've taken with this camera during the past one year. The 61 autofocus points on the camera is pretty useful because previously I've used the Canon 60 which has around 9 autofocus points. So in the low light I find a lot of hunting during the focusing. But this camera doesn't have that kind of issue so I think even though like uh, even the mirrorless cameras like uh, A6000, A6500 has like up to 425 autofocus points. The 61 you can uh, easily find it easy to use the uh, autofocus system you can rely on it so that is uh, one of the advantages i found for this camera in this segment this camera has a weather seal body which makes it a good camera for landscape photography as the photographers will be exposed to a lot of weather conditions and uh, another feature i would say along with the weather seal body is the build quality it's really durable even after uh, I think this camera uh, is five years old or something even after this much uh, if you can see each and every the battery the buttons they feel solid so that gives us a lot of confidence in taking it to photo shoots that kind of reliability I can find inside this DSLR another another feature I want to focus is the battery life if you are going moving for a more mirrorless camera the one thing you find uh, one feature you find uh, difficult will be the use of uh, multiple batteries this has a battery life of 950 shots and that is pretty well uh, can handle one day of your shoots then the low light features of this camera is really good it's not just about within the photography as well as the videography side this uh, low light feature will come in handy because uh, even after pushing the iso to the max like 25600 you can uh, pretty well use this uh, photographs for uh, social medias and all and even in videography uh, you can find it really useful another feature is the storage slot it has a two uh, different storage slot it's a one is for a cf card and the other one is a normal C, uh, sd card uh, the previous cameras i've used i've uh, the, this is the first time i'm using a cf card and i find it pretty useful it's a 32 gb cf card what i have right now and uh, it gives you like uh, more reliable options i have like uh, two three sd cards um, betraying me so many times that uh, they got corrupted so those kind of features are uh, available on this pro level camera let's move on to the vide videography side of this camera as far as videography is concerned this camera is not up to the level of the uh, other cameras on this uh, price range so if you take for example up to this 55000 you may find uh, the sony a6500 6400 then the uh, m50 mark ii is there so all those cameras you can uh, easily find the 4k up to 30 frames per second on this cameras this camera doesn't even have a 60 frame 
per second so the videographers will be uh, pretty much disappointed on this camera while buying this camera in 2021 but still uh, let me show you a video i've taken with this camera two months back <laughs> As you can see, I've uh, used this camera pretty on a really low light condition. I've uh, boosted up the ISO pretty much high and uh, you can see the result there. And I've used the 50mm 1.4 uh, lens along with the um, 5D Mark III and uh, the short, full shots are taken on manual focus. And the reason being this doesn't have a continuous autofocus uh, system so if you are a person who is relying morely on autofocus on videography then this camera might not be for you the absence of articulating stream i forgot to mention in the photography side also the lack of articulating screen might be a bad a downside for this camera because if you are prone to taking photographs from the lower angle or from a higher altitude and even if you are uh, more into self-portraits or uh, self videography vlogging then um, all those uh, uh, circumstances you find the absence of uh, articulating screen to be pretty much a downside these are the points i find uh, myself while using these cameras uh, during the past five to six years so i started off with a different uh, like a nikon camera and uh, the last camera i was used was also nikon in between I've changed to Canon, the Canon 6D, then the Sony, Sony A6000, A6500. So in this journey, I think uh, I find this Canon 5D Mark III to be the best camera I've used so far. I have a detailed description of the cameras I've used and check out this link and uh, find the video there. So I'll be uh, showing all the cameras I've used right now and the advantages and disadvantages I find on each of the camera. Well, if you're new to this channel please feel free to subscribe and uh, share and then if you find have any more additions regarding the canon 5d mark III, you can drop down in the comments uh, then watch out this uh, section for more videos regarding the cameras and photography and videography thank you